Hola amigos, hello friends, ¿cómo estáis? How are you? Well, in the last session we have learned some specific sounds of Spanish language and how they are pronounced. I hope you have learned that. In today's session we shall look at some very important expressions which come very handy in learning Spanish. You have already learned to greet people in Spanish. We shall begin with the expressions and the first expression is ¿Cómo se dice esto en español? ¿Cómo se dice esto en español? Yes, ¿Cómo is how? ¿Cómo se dice esto en español? We have already learned español in Spanish language is Spanish. Do you remember how to say Spain in Spanish? Yes, it is España. So, ¿Cómo se dice esto en español? Is how to say it in Spanish. Okay? So, how to say it? That it can be anything. You can ask. You have a word like in English. You would like to know how it is said in Spanish. So, let's take the word thank you. ¿Cómo se dice thank you en español? Okay. ¿Cómo se dice thank you en español? How to say thank you in Spanish? Se dice, the answer would be, se dice gracias. Thank you is in Spanish is gracias and gracias as you know is a, one of the very important expression in Spanish. Let's make some more expressions with this particular expression make some more examples like ok in Espanol. Como se dice ok en Espanol? Como se dice ok en español. Se dice vale o vale. V A L E or V A L E in English. Vale is ok in Spanish. Como se dice good morning en español? Yes, you already know. Buenos días. That's correct. Como se dice very good en español. Se dice muy bien. Como se dice very good en español. Se dice very good muy bien. Bueno, buena, buenos, buenas are adjectives where as bien is an adverb. Just remember, we shall come back to these later sometime. The next expression you should know is ¿Cómo se dice how are you in español? ¿Cómo se dice how are you in español? Se dice ¿Qué tal? Yes, ¿Qué tal? was the important expression which we discussed in the last chapter or session as well that can refer to multiple uh, meanings and it can have can be used in different contexts. Yes, ¿Qué tal? is one of the important expression which can be used in multiple contexts. Like you come out of watching a film and you ask your friend ¿Qué tal? that refers how was the movie. You come out of a debate or discussion and ask ¿Qué tal? then you refer to the debate or the discussion that how was the debate or the discussion. So, the word ¿Qué tal? can also be asked in the morning like Hola, buenos días, ¿Qué tal? Hello, good morning, how are you? ¿Qué tal? is one of the important expressions which can be used in different context. The other expression to use for how are you is ¿Cómo estás tú? ¿Cómo estás tú? How are you? That's informal way of asking. 
The same thing can be asked in a formal way. ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo está usted? How are you? Formal. The other expression uh, to ask somebody how it is and how they are, the, the expression can be used like ¿Cómo te va? Informal. ¿Cómo le va? ¿Cómo le va? Formal. ¿Cómo te va? Informal. You also say like ¿Qué hay? ¿Qué hay? ¿Qué pasa? So, you've seen that to ask other person how he or she is, you have different expressions like ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás tú? ¿Cómo está usted? ¿Cómo te va? ¿Cómo le va? ¿Qué hay? Or ¿Qué pasa? Our expression used to ask what's happening or what's up. The other important expression to learn is ¿Cómo se pronuncia en español? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto en español? La expresión, or the expression is pronuncia. How something is pronounced in Spanish. Yes, though we know that uh, we do not have more complication in terms of pronunciation in Spanish language. It is quite easier. However, just if we need a certain word or expression to know how to pronounce it, to ask that particular question, we use the expression, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esto en español? So, if you come across uh, or you wonder that how to pronounce that word, like few examples are, ¿Cómo se pronuncia G -I -N -E -B -R -A en español is how to pronounce G -G -I -N -E -B -R -A in Spanish. How to pronounce G -I -N -E -B -R -A in Spanish. So, se pronuncia como Ginebra. Yes, remember that session when we did that we were doing the alphabet there we learned that there are the letter G has two sounds when it come across two vowels that is I and E, E and A in Spanish, it has the sound G, G and rest other vowels three, it has the sound G. So, we'll look at some words. Como se pronuncia G, E, N, T, E en español. Se pronuncia gente. ¿Cómo se pronuncia C, U, A, D, E, R, N, O en español? Se pronuncia cuaderno. It is pronounced cuaderno. One more example. ¿Cómo se pronuncia Z, A, P, A, T, O, S, en español. How Z, Z, A, P, A, T, O, S is pronounced in Spanish. Se pronuncia zapatos. It is pronounced zapatos. Similarly, como se pronuncia buen o B, U, A, N en español. How to pronounce B, U, E, N in Spanish, se pronuncia, it is pronounced, buen, buen. The, so, I will read out the few words which you see on the screen, is ginebra, gente, cuaderno, gusto, guadalajara, luego, mañana, londres, zapatos, buen, cien, quien, que, donde, nuevo, cayer, etc. The other expression which is useful, like, como se escribe, 
en español. How to write this in Spanish? Or there is another expression to use writing and that is como se deletrea en español? How do you spell it in Spanish? So let's look at this expression and learn how to use it. In the first expression, como se escribe esto en español, you just write the word and so that, so and the second expression, como se deletrea esto en español, you need to spell out or you need to spell the word. You remember the alphabet and you have to spell according. For example, you have the word gracias and someone asks how to write or spell, you say G R A C I A S. Gracias. Mañana. M A N A N A. Mañana. Sevilla. S E V I L -E A. Sevilla. This is an important expression because the foreigners find your name difficult and therefore they ask to spell you your name so or your surname. So in the next class we shall learn how to introduce and talk names and surname. I hope you practice spelling your name and your surname with the different words in Spanish. Now let us learn another very important expression in Spanish. Que significa? What does it mean? Que significa? What does it mean? You can use this expression to know how the meaning of any word or expression in Spanish. Que significa vale? What vale means? Yes, you've learned vale means okay. So, que significa vale? Vale significa okay. You can take any word that you know the meaning for her and ask. Que significa? Let us know some word. You know some or uh, some or you do not know. Que significa buenas noches? S buenas noches significa good night. Que significa hola? Hola in Spanish is hi, hello. You know this too. Very good, very nice. Que significa gracias? You've learned it too. Si gracias means thank you. Que significa amigos? Amigos is friends. You can make out amigo is friend referring to a boy. S then amiga is a friend referring to a girl. Yes, as we learned that the nouns in Spanish language, majority of them are by, by far and large the word which ends with O is a masculine, the word which or the noun which ends with A or A is feminine. Amigos are friends who are boys and girls and if you are only referring to girls you will say amigas. Que significa adios? Adios significa bye. Que significa buen fin de semana? Buen fin de semana significa happy weekend. Buen fin de semana means happy weekend. Well, amigos, you have learned so far some very important expressions which are useful to initiate into learning Spanish. Let us learn some more expressions like donde. Donde is the expression to ask where about the location. You can use donde esta to ask where is. Where is Madrid? Donde esta Madrid? Donde esta Juan? Where is Juan? Donde esta el supermercado? Where is the supermarket? Donde esta mi móvil? My móvil is mobile. You suggested right or you guessed right. 
where is my mobile now you know how to say where is the other expression is cuando c u a n d o cuando c u a n d o a carrying an accent cuando is to ask when cuando when we shall learn some other temporal expressions here like hoy is today you remember that in spanish alphabet h is always silent h is never pronounced so when we say h o y it is hoy h remains silent so today is hoy or hoy is today mañana is tomorrow we have already learned in greetings that hasta mañana yeah you remember see you tomorrow therefore mañana is tomorrow pasado mañana is day after tomorrow similarly ayer is yesterday it is pronounced like ayer can you guess uh, what is the day before yesterday no it is ante ayer yes ayer is yesterday ante ayer is day before yesterday now le let's look at these uh, expressions uh, ante ayer is day before yesterday ayer is yesterday hoy is today mañana is tomorrow pasado mañana is day after tomorrow hoy es lunes remember we have learned the name of uh, days yes so lunes is monday so hoy es lunes today is monday ayer domingo sunday ante ayer el sábado y day before yesterday saturday mañana martes yes tomorrow tuesday pasado mañana miércoles yes wednesday correct you you are already learning now let's look at all some small conversation between juan in spanish guy and mary in an indian girl so juan is a spanish guy and mary is a indian girl juan says Hola Mary. Mary, hola Juan. Juan, ¿qué tal? Mary, muy bien, ¿y tú? Juan, muy bien, también, gracias. Mary, Juan, ¿cómo se dice sorry en español? So as Mary is an Indian girl, she does not know how to say sorry in Spanish. So she uses the expression which we learned. ¿Cómo se dice sorry in español and juan replies sorry ah lo siento se dice lo siento it is said lo siento so lo siento is sorry in spanish juan sí mary mary gracias juan cuando es la clase de español cuando es la clase de español when Yes, cuando is when to talk about time. When is the Spanish class? Juan, mañana. Tomorrow. La clase de español es mañana. Spanish class is tomorrow. Mary, muchas gracias, Juan. Thank you very much, Juan. Hasta mañana. See you tomorrow. And Juan says, de nada. Yes. De nada is one expression in Spanish which you use to say you're welcome only in response to gracias. When somebody says you gracias, thank you, you reply de nada, hence you're welcome. Mari, adios, hasta mañana. Bye, see you tomorrow. I'm sure that you followed the conversation quite well, isn't it? Yes. Mary has learned today to say sorry she has also got to know when is the spanish class
So, these are the some common expression which we learned from uh, today's session and this is the common one was lo siento, what? sorry and we can also use the other word as perdón, perdón as pardon or excuse me, sorry. In the conversation, Mary is asking, ¿cuándo es la clase de español? ¿Cuándo es when? La clase is the class or español is Spanish. So, you can easily guess is that es is is. So, cuando es la clase de español is when is the Spanish class. Juan answered mañana, that is tomorrow. Very right, get going. In today's session, we have learned some very important expression that facilitate us to learn Spanish language. We have also learned some temporal expressions like muy bien, no. We have learned muy bien, we have done very well, we have learned very nicely. I shall conclude today's class with one last expression and that is ya está, yes, that's all. Ya está, se escribe, como se escribe ya está? Se escribe, hay dos palabras, there are two words. So, I said, I asked the question. ¿Cómo se escribe ya está en español? How to write ya está en español? O ¿Cómo se deletrea ya está en español? How to spell ya está en español? So, there are two words. Ya está. Ya es Y A. Está es E S T A. Yes, the same está which we use for uh, como esta, uh, muy bien, Entonces, ya esta, that's all. So, that's how we conclude today's session and we shall get back to you uh, with this more uh, chapters uh, in the next session. Until then, please stay tuned with us to learn Spanish. Thank you. Adios.